Okay. In this lesson, we are going to look at this question that was lifted up from my past further mass past question. And uh, the question goes to us, given the vector P equals I plus 2J minus 2K and K equals 2I minus J plus 2K, find two vectors, M and N, satisfying all the following conditions, I, N is perpendicular to P, 2, N is parallel to P, 3, M plus N equals Q. Now I'm going to start with this. If I have two vectors perpendicular to each other, then it means that their dot product is going to be equal to zero. And for condition two, if two vectors are parallel to each other, it means that one of the best vectors is just a scalar multiplication of the allowed vector. So it means that vector n is equal to a scalar multiplied by vector p. Now I'm going to write these vectors in root vector as root vectors for because of ambiguity so that we don't get to model of k with k here. And also you can also write them as column vectors if you so wish to but I prefer to write them in root vector because of space. So I'm going to do this. So I'm going to start with this. Since we know that vector n is par parallel to p, we can get vector n and express it in terms of uh, k. So it therefore means that vector n is equal to k times vector p, which I'm going to write as a root vector. So I'm going to write this without i, j, and k as 1, comma, 2, comma, minus 2. So this will definitely give us n equals k, k times this, comma 2k minus 2k. Now having known that, we can get vector n, we can get vector n by expressing n in terms of q and what? n. So vector n then then it's going to be from here, Q minus N. I'm again writing these vectors as root vector. I'm going to have two comma minus one comma two minus N. That's K comma two K minus comma minus two K. So all of these vector N is going to give me two minus K as 2 minus k, comma, minus 1 minus 2k, that will give us minus 1 minus 2k, comma, then 2 minus 2k, that gives us what? 2 minus times minus is plus, plus 2k. So this is vector n. So vector n equals 2 minus k, minus 1 minus 2k, comma, 2 plus 2k. Now, having know that, and having gotten the vectors m and n, then we cannot go back to this to look at when the vectors m is uh, the vector n is perpendicular to what vector p. So we know this. I'm going to do this. My n. So when two vectors are perpendicular to each other, their dot product is simply equal to zero. So I'm going to have this. 2k, rather 2 minus k, comma, minus 1, minus 2k, comma, 2 plus 2k, so the product of vector, or the dot product of m and p, because m is perpendicular to p is 2 minus k comma 1 minus 2k comma 2 plus 2k dot vector p is 1 2 minus 2 so let's work out 
the third product of this. So we're going to multiply this by this, this by this, this by this, and we sum them together. So this times this is never going to be, that's 2 minus k times 1, it's going to be 2 minus k minus 2, minus 1 minus 2k times 2 is definitely going to give us minus 2 minus 4k and 2 plus 2k minus, times minus 2 is going to give us minus 2 times this we have minus 4 minus times plus minus times plus we have minus then 2 times 2 we have 4k equals 0 so from here you can see that we are going to have these two 2 minus 2, they cancel out each other. We have minus k minus 4k, that's minus 5k minus 4k, that gives us minus 9k, then we are left with minus 4 equals 0. So from here you can see that k equals 4 divided by 9. My, okay, minus 4 divided by 9. So the k is equal to what? Minus 4 over 9. Now recall that our vectors are vector n equals k comma 2k comma minus 2k so n is going to be equal to minus 4 over 9 then minus 4 over 9 times 2 that give us minus 8 over 9 then we have minus 2 times minus 4 over 9 minus times minus is plus so we have 2 times we have 8 over what? 9. So if we want to write this back in unit vector form, we have n equals minus 4i over 9 minus 8i over 9 plus 8, sorry, minus 8j over 9 plus 8k over 9. And we can factor out 1 over 9. So that was n equals 1 over 9 into 4i minus 8i plus 8k. Now to look for vector n, n is equal to 2 minus k comma minus 1 minus 2k comma 2 plus k. So we'll just substitute the value of k into that. So I'm going to have 2 minus so 2 minus minus 4 because 4 over 9 comma then we have minus 1 minus times minus is plus times this we have plus 8 over 9 comma then we have minus 4 over 9 okay we have 2 minus 4 over 9 and by working this out n is going to be equal to 9 18 plus 4 18 plus 4 is 22 9 times 2 9 times 2 is 8 plus 4 we have 22 then we have uh, plus we have 9 so we have minus 9 plus 8 okay minus 9 plus 8 that gives us minus 1 so we have minus 1 over 9 comma then we have comma and we have 2 times 9, that's 18. 18 minus 4, that is 14 over 9. So we can factor this out. n equals 1 over 9 into 22, comma, minus 1, comma, 14. So n equals 1 over 9 in vector form. We have 22i minus j. plus 14k. So these are the vectors as required for us to solve.